a spaceship here and a spaceship show. I have a very important PSA. I just found something on YouTube that I didn't even know existed and it is called hysterical literature and if you trust me just turn this off right now and go as fast as you can. Um, but if not I will convince you some more. So you'll know it's the right videos because most of them are like a black and white video of a woman reading an interesting passage. The one I found was a woman reading Emerson and I was like, oh, I need to listen to Emerson more to impress people. So I started listening to it <clears throat> and then I was, but I wasn't watching it and I was like, the first couple paragraphs, great. I was like deep because that's awesome. And then all of a sudden she started struggling with her words and I was like, oh my God, this lady reads worse than I do. And then she started reading really worse than I did. And then I looked up and I was like, is this lady having a stroke? But it all goes back to hysteria in the 1800s where the, when the women were diagnosed as being hysterical because they were upset or angry or sad, they would go to the doctor or they would hear about their girlfriend who went to the doctor and like cured them of their hysteria. And the doctors were like manually masturbating the women and they just were like, yeah, we're doctors. And nobody was really realizing what was going on. And maybe people didn't even know women could have orgasms, but the doctors were like, we're healing these women. But then I found a movie called Hysteria, which I think we should watch about a doctor who was doing this and then his hand started not working. And so his friend had to invent a vibrator for him to use. Anyways, uh, so anyways, so you're watching these women on YouTube read a book and then all of a sudden they start struggling to read and you realize that underneath the table, something's vibrating. And like above the table, they're holding a book and reading it. Now I've ruined it for you. I hope you already left and went and looked. So, anyways, I couldn't find a good angle. But sometimes you can just lay on your back and you don't look like you have any wrinkles. And you look like your hair is big. <laughs> anyways, hysterical literature. I don't know why you're still watching. Tell me what you think. I watched the one where she was reading Emerson. I didn't really watch any other ones. I'm still blown away, though. I still sent a link to everyone I know. So go. Now. Why are you still here? Bye.